Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a game teleport system in Roblox Studio. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me and help me get to 100,000 subscribers. In the meantime, let's get straight into this. All right, so first things first, you're gonna go in the description and find that link below. Um, this was actually made by my community on Discord by Tigo. Um, so thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to be making this video without him. Um, but yeah, so you're going to hop into Roblox. And once you go into Roblox Studio, you should be able to get this toolbox. Um, like I said, it's just this right here. You can hit try in Studio. You can download it, whatever's easier for you. Um, but once you get it, you can just go to your toolbox. If you don't know where that is, it's in the home button. Just click that toolbox button and it'll go to my models. It should be the first one just right up there. So it's going to bring in a few things in your workspace. If you don't have workspace, uh, go to the view tab and you should be able to find workspace through here um, um, in your Explorer, of course. Uh, basically, we have a few things. So we have a folder for lighting. You're going to drag this into here and feel free to put that in lighting. We got replicated storage, so put that in replicated storage. We have server script service, so we're going to put this in server script service. We have a starter GUI, of course, and then workspace. Um, now, I did put a little readme in here. Uh, it kind of talks about what he did um, and fixed. But of course, stalling wise, uh, you just basically put everything into here um, and it's not too bad. So he actually did a great way of um, doing some of the things, which is awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how it works, but actually make sure to go to game settings, go to security and allow third party teleports. So that needs to be put on. Um, make sure you do this. This is just because of Roblox security things. Um, but yeah, so you're good to delete this if you want. But what we're going to be doing, um, of course, we already did this. Um, and you're going to organize these folders. Uh, you can put them into there. And uh, we have screen UI and we have the teleport handler and place IDs. So um, it looks like you just go into here and teleport handler and we have place IDs. Um, and yeah, so it has certain things. Now you can change the names. Um, let's see, teleport, customize, move teleport part from teleport model to the model position nearby name model teleport um so it looks like let's just um well we don't delete this yet but um we have the teleporter right here so and if we see we have teleport part um so it looks like it's a little part inside here which has a teleport button so view and view game list awesome so this is a teleport part so however you want to do this um but as you can tell right here and then um yeah so you want to name it. So uh, everything's pretty much made for you. Now, like I said, if you want to customize this, you can. Um, it looks like there's like an animation script in here too, which is kind of cool. Um, only thing is you will have to make sure that, um, oh yeah, update appearance. So um, the mannequin my always could be the child. Uh, that's kind of cool. Configuration. Oh, auto update character, user ID. Oh yeah. So if you want to put your user ID in here, actually, let's do that. That's pretty cool. I like how he has a little customization for you guys. You're going to go to your profile on Roblox and it's just going to be this nine number right here. So make sure to get this little number um, and you should be able to get your profile ID and you just grab your user ID, put it right there. And this is going to auto update the character, which is awesome. And basically, I guess what this is, is it just allows you to uh, have your thing. Now, if you want to customize this too, it's up to you. Um, you can go into, I'm guessing it's in the head, maybe billboard UI, humor part attachment oh it's right here Duh. Um, overhead oh yeah so teleport system you can change this however you'd like so I can just call this uh, you know game teleporter um, just like that and then we have an overhead GUI you can like you know go um, whatever you want like owner and then uh, Tigo which he did so I could go like um, twin plays dev and then I could go um, yeah I could just put twin plays right here and um just like that there you go so now you have like your little thing in here pretty simple to do um but then so going into this also just make sure animation wise if you do want an animation you're going to have to grab uh an animation for that um you can also go and search up like r15 animations um, i'll do this real quick with you guys if you want um let's see realistic oh let's do r15 emotes actually um and then you can just kind of Put this in here, super easy to do actually. Go into your avatar, go to animation editor, click it. And um, I'm gonna actually put this down here because I don't like how it does that. And then you can do, oh, there is no, oh, emotes. Oh, here we go. Okay, so board, are there already emojis in our thing? Uh, import from Roblox. Nope, that is not. 
Oh, I guess I technically already have a bunch, but that's not a good example. I don't know why this one um, did that. Let's, let's actually do this again. R15 emotes. Um, let's see. This one should probably have some already. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just being stupid. But, uh, oh, yeah. Animation clay. I'm going to migrate. Oh, yeah. There we go. So you can hit load. And then, like, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff you can um, but that's up to you how you want to do but see like there's animations in here and you just click upload um, I don't know if there's any points around. It's a little weird um, Yeah, you don't want that playing the whole time. All right. Well, you get the jiffy of it um, so basically um, You can for now. It's okay But the reason I say that is because uh, if you don't own the asset of the animation you aren't allowed to use it So basically it's gonna just not work um, but Let's go into the thing. So we have the teleport blur. So this is going to be enabled. It's going to look like this um, when they activate it. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to just delete this because we don't need it anymore. We have a remote. So get player count. So that's a good thing to do. This is all the API, API stuff, which I can go into in a sec. Um, but of course, that's it. Um, and then place IDs, the real thing you're here for. Um, this is the handler, by the way. So up to you. There's a teleport duration you can also mess around with. Um, but this is pretty well made, so it has a good amount of stuff in here. Maybe don't touch it if you're a little confused. <laughs> um, but yeah, so going into here, we have place ID. So I can get rid of any of these if you want. So see, it says rename to anything. But um, when it comes to these making the games, if you want to just do one, feel free and do one. Um, but like, if I want to make a few games and do like... Um, okay, so I found this one right here, developer donations. You know, I can put this game ID in. And then um, you copy that game ID value, and then I'll call it developer donations. And then let's say we do one more, uh, Dungeon Heroes. I just grabbed this randomly. Um, we'll go and just do Dungeon Heroes. And put the value right there. And then if I want to duplicate it, I can just go you know, more here and then put an ID right there. Um, there are a click sound. So if you want a certain click sound, feel free to just do that. Um, same for a hover sound. So it looks like he did a few things in here, um, but let's just actually test it out real quick. Okay, so we load it in, and now as you can tell what I mean by animation, it's just on loop, but pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Um, so let's see, view game list. So I can click view. Okay, this animation is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know how that proximity prompt works. Oh, that is totally an issue. Um, yeah. That's that's not gonna work. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Yeah, you definitely want to change the animation. That is causing a few issues. Hold on. I should just go into that, uh, looking at it. You just go to the teleport submit and see how it says requires line of sight. Just go ahead and just uncheck that. So um, I'll do that. I'll reload that in a bit, but you just go ahead and do that. So, okay, looks like it's loading the game list. So it's it's putting in right now. Boom. Okay. So, oh wow, that was pretty cool. All right. Well, it looks like it even gave you the. Um, Ah, you put a few things in here. You got favorites, you got players online, created, um, and then, yeah, the little play button. So, honestly, this is very well made. I am very surprised, so great job. Um, yeah, and then if you hit return, brings you back. Um, that looks good. I don't know. This is probably not too much of a worries, but, um, yeah, loading game list menu. This is probably just on not the right uh, size, but, yeah, and then you click play, and then it's like, do you want to teleport? So you click yes. And then it will teleport you um, doing a little animation. So that's honestly really cool too. Um, so that's basically it. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you do want to mess around with the GUI, now this is up to you. I do not really recommend it. Um, but if you're new to scripting and all that. But if you click visible right here, you're able to see the GUI. So you can actually customize this however you like. Um, but I would be careful, like I said. But yeah, so notifications. So this was probably just not very well in the position, but um, I mean, depending on how you want to do this, um, you know, you can go down and do whatever works, but teleport frame, teleport menu. And then of course you got to be careful when you, um, so here's the visible kind of shows you notification is that uh, teleporting uh, confirmation frame, uh, just going in here, but you just got to be careful. Like I said, with um, you know some of these things, just because you don't want to, uh, you know, worry about things breaking or not working. Um, but yeah, so, you know, same thing, template, uh, if you want to look at that, you can actually just click visible and bring this, drag this out. Um, and this is the template. So, you know, up to you how you want to do that, but looks, looks amazing. So that's about it. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. So a little 10 minutes long, I was yapping, but trying to explain it to you. Hope you understand it. Um, 
And then, yeah, of course, this is the API. If you want to learn through this, I recommend, you know, best way to learn is just going through yourself, kind of seeing what goes into here. Um, you know, looks so like we've got two local functions going on to the get the game data. Um, and then, yes, it is using row proxy. So that is the proxy that allows us to get the game data and info, which is really nice and actually what you use for please donate and all those other games. Um, but yeah, you guys, I... Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button again. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.